What's going on, guys? All right, today I'm going to be making a video for um, PSP ISO compression on Windows 10. Now, I did have a video out a really long time ago with Windows 7. Uh, it did work with Windows 8, but I guess the net framework is different on Windows 10 slightly, and it doesn't work. So, I have this program here. It's uh, ISO compressor setup. I will have the link in the description below, and I will be showing you how to compress your ISOs to CSOs. So. First and foremost, what you're going to do is you're going to run this program here. When you run this program, you're just going to go through the standard installation process, and it will guide you through it. Once you've installed the file, you can create your shortcut on the desktop or whatever. Um, oh, there it is. Put it in a weird spot. So this is what your icon is going to look like right over here. So double click on that and open that up once it's installed. Now what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to browse for a PSP ISO file. There's also Wii ISO support added, so in case you uh, need to compress your ISOs for Wii, uh, it will be here as well. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it, and it will compress to um, your .wbfs. Uh, .wbfs. Uh, I think that's the actual image file for the installation. Um, and then the ISO is obviously a ripped disk from the Wii. So, uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to select level 9 for the best compression for PSP ISO file. And now I'm going to browse for the PSP ISO file. And we're going to be doing this dungeon, dun blah, 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 dungeon Siege Throne of Agony. Now, notice that the size of this file is 633 megabytes. Now, what does a PSP ISO, or well, what does an ISO compressor do compressing ISOs to CSOs? Basically, what that does is there's empty space within an ISO, more or less, and it removes that empty space. So not only does it compress the file, but your file also reads faster. So I'm going to select that for open, and I'm just going to leave it for the output to be the desktop, just to have it appear on the desktop, and that's pretty much it. And then all you're going to do is hit compress. And then you're just going to allow this process to take place. So while that's doing that... I'm going to go ahead and hook my PSP up here, if uh, I can drag this program over. So, and uh, this CSO read file stuff is only available for a uh, PSP running custom firmware as well. And for some reason it's still not responding, just simply because I moved it, which is kind of dumb, but okay. Now let's see. Hello. Thank you. Okay. So here I am over on my PSP here, up in the top left. And uh, let's go to my system settings real quick. And uh, I'm running the 6.61 Pro C custom firmware. I'm probably going to swap back to ME just because there's a little bit more capability. Well, I'll leave that up like that. What is going on with this program? There we go. So I guess it was doing it in the background and just not telling me the progress. Okay, so now that we finished that, now remember, the dungeon siege file here, 633 megabytes. Now we have a Dungeon Siege uh, CSO file, and you can see that it's 486 megabytes. So it was almost cut in half. And uh, basically, what you can now do is you can put your PSP in USB mode. USB connection, exit, USB mode. Come on, read the folder. Hey, thanks, Johnny. And then, uh, as always, for uh, ISOs or CSOs, what you're going to do is you're going to have your ISO folder on your um, desktop, or not your desktop, well, your uh, root directory of your system storage or your memory. Uh, obviously, you can see that I have um, a PSP Go, so, uh, and I'm just going to copy this Dungeon Siege over here. So allow that to copy. Wow, 2.0 USB is really slow. 
And uh, actually, I'm probably going to convert these ISO files now to um, CSO as well, just for HaHa's, uh, just to save up some space on my drive. All right, so now that I've copied my CSO file over, now the only thing we have left to do is to make sure that it works. So, I'm going to exit this here, and I'm going to exit my USB mode. I'm going to unplug this USB, plug it back in. Oh, no, wait a minute, I have to reset the VSH. Resetting. There we go. All right, so now oh, let's scroll to my game folder here. Hey, I saved some memory. Uh, here we go, Dungeon Siege. Now, another thing you want to make sure when you have a CSO loaded, make sure you have your M33 driver loaded uh, for your UMD ISO mode, just to let you know in your VSA menu. And uh, let's start it up and see what happens. Make sure the game don't explode. Don't fret, it's just going past my uh, boot screen here. go and evidently it works so there we go so that's how you uh, compress your ISO files to CSO and run them on your PSP running custom firmware so thanks a lot rate comment and subscribe uh, I will leave the link again in the description below uh, as well as a detailed description on how to install the program and compress the ISOs. And other than that, rate, comment, and subscribe, and I hope you guys enjoy this little compression video so that way you can save them some space, as well as the uh, Nintendo Wii users as well. So I will include that in the description as well. Alrighty, talk to you guys later, and enjoy.